Hello and welcome to Adventures with Bill. On today's episode, we're going to be seeing how I converted a motorcycle trailer to a kayak trailer. I'll be taking you step by step through the process and hopefully it'll give you a few good ideas if you're contemplating doing this for your kayak. My kayak is an Ascend 133X, which weighs 125 pounds dry. And as I'm transporting it with two batteries, the trolling motor, and a little bit of other gear, it has to weigh at least 225 pounds. So the trailer makes it a whole lot easier. The trailer that I'm converting began life as a 1974 Coleman caboose. This little trailer was made to haul behind the Chevy Vega or a Ford Pinto at highway speeds, and the carrying capacity is 450 pounds, so it'll handle the kayak just fine. There's a picture of the trailer next to the kayak, so you can get a size comparison, and the first thing I did was to take all the wiring off of the trailer and remove the cargo box, which was just held on by several bolts. Here's a picture of the bare frame, and of course I had to lengthen the tongue, so I have cut off the front hitch, and you can see that there. To reinforce where the new tube would be added to lengthen the tongue, since I didn't want to weld it, because I may convert it back in the future to the motorcycle trailer, I put a piece of smaller steel tube inside the 2-inch steel tubing on the frame. You can see that it's about a quarter of an inch smaller in both directions, and here I have some aluminum scrap, 8th inch thick, that I cut into strips to use as shims. And in this picture, you can see how I have the two shims inserted on the side. There'll be two more on the top. Here I am used green duct tape to hold pieces of the shims at each end so that the inner tube would not be wobbling around as I'm towing it down the road. I drilled holes through both sides of the frame through the shims and through the inside piece, and here's the grade 8 bolt that I used for high shear strength, which will be plenty adequate as this trailer gets hauled down the road. In this picture, you can see how I've got it bolted together, lock washers and flat washers, so it's not going anywhere. This next picture shows the extended tongue uh, installed and primed, ready for paint. It hasn't been cut to length yet because I wasn't sure how long actually it needed to be. Another picture of the tongue in primer, and here we've got it painted bright yellow for visibility, and I've bolted on a new front hitch to connect to the ball on the truck. I'm going to mount three wood rails uh, sideways across the frame to hold the PVC tubes. So I'm using the front and rear rail that's already on the trailer, but I had to add another rail uh, further up the tongue, just beyond where I added it on. And here you can see I've welded it in place, used a piece of uh, old steel angle from uh, a bed frame that you use to hold the box spring and the mattress. I had that laying around that was free and it works great. Here's a picture from the rear of the trailer where you can see the frame, along with the new rail that I added up closer to the front of the trailer. Uh, another picture of the hitch that I added before cut I the bolts to length and painted it all. Here's the trailer fit up and attached to the truck. The trailer's not finished, but it's just to see how much clearance I would have between the front of the kayak and the back of the truck. Also, with the tailgate down, want to make sure I've got room to get in there and work and that 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 distance seems to work pretty well. I cut the chains, the safety chains off of the old hitch and welded them onto the new hitch right behind the hitch to the tongue and that's not going anywhere. I've got it painted up here in the black primer with the chains in place ready to go. This is the bottom of the kayak, kind of a tri-hole design, but those two slots obviously are where the PVC pipes will go and I use the green tape to locate where the wood rails would be and the blue tape, tape front, front and back is where the PVC will stop front and rear. In this photograph you can see how I have the wood rails mounted to the frame. I cut notches out of the middle and the front rail because on the front of the kayak there is a wear pad for dragging it across a ramp or the rocks and the the drag pad sticks down below the keel and likes to catch on things. So I cut that out just for a little bit of clearance to mount the rails. I notched the middle wood mount, but the front one is a little shorter, so I didn't need to notch it. 
and I didn't need to notch the rear one either. Here, from the rear, I have welded the two uprights on either side of the frame to mount the trailer lights up high, and also kind of as a guide when I'm bringing the kayak in in uh, current or wind conditions. Here I've got the little T bracket on top to mount the light, and before I welded that on, I slid PVC over both of the uprights just for a little cushioning. Here we've got the PVC rails ready to be mounted to the wood frames. Here they are mounted. You can see it from a rear view. Simply dr drilled a like a one inch hole in the top of the PVC and a smaller hole for the lag bolts that go down into the wood. Holds it really well. Here the trailer is just temporarily attached to the truck to see how it looks with everything pretty much finished at that point. I had to add the license plate holder down below. And uh, here's a side view of it with the kayak mounted to it, hitched up to the back of the truck with the chains in place. Still got a little bit of work to do. Here it is from the rear view. Just see how it sits behind the truck. I don't have a A-frame going up yet to sit right against the front of the kayak to keep it from moving. So I installed two D-rings onto the top of the frame, one in front of the kayak, the other back a little bit, and I connect that with two safety straps to keep the kayak from sliding forward or back as I'm towing it. And you can see here I've got a tensioning strap that I put across the back to keep it seated on the frame. Here's an underneath view showing how the kayak sits on the wood and also on the PVC pipes. I'm going to be mounting the spare tire up to the front of the tongue between the two safety straps, so I'll always have the spare with me. Here you can see the little black drag pad on the front of the keel. I'm going to be trimming that on a 45 degree angle front and rear so that it doesn't hang up on rocks and sticks, things like that when I'm in the water. This is a view of the kayak hooked on with the lights on and the truck lights on. I got the lights at Harbor Freight. Nice cheap kit, especially with with, with it on sale. And here's the kayak in uh, the storage area, loaded onto the trailer, pretty much the way I tow it, except I don't have the seat on it and the battery charger. Just another side view of the kayak on the trailer behind the truck. I think it looks pretty good. And this is a walk around of the kayak. Starts here at the front. You can see how the safety straps are on there for now. Going back, I've still got to put fenders on the trailer. I know that, but uh, and boy, that kayak is dirty. I've been fishing in some muddy water. Got to clean that up. Always put the orange flag on the back, uh, Jorgensen Steel, as I'm towing it, just in case. You never know how people may want to run into you. And uh, so, yeah. That's the, the way it's hitched up there at the front. Got the, the trolling motor on. Sometimes I'll put that down inside when I tow it. Got the battery charging system. So when I tow it, I've got the... Here I'm showing how the uh, my temporary fish finder, depth finder mount uh, works until I make a permanent mount. But when I tow it, I have this rear battery. It's pretty heavy, marine, 100 amp hour marine battery. Also have a smaller battery up in the front hatch for the depth finder. So there's some weight there. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the trailer build. May give you some ideas. Feel free to leave comments. If you have any suggestions for improvements, I'd be glad to hear those. As always, please like or subscribe to these videos. If you hit the little bell icon down there, you'll be notified whenever I come up with another kayak modification. And until next time, God bless you. Have a great day.